Hello, I'm Rob Pugh and I'm a Terra Tools Ambassador and I just want to talk to you about how to Terra to Capture One. One thing to note though, do head over to the Capture One website and check the compatibility of your camera and if it tethers into Capture One. You can also head over to the Terra Tools website and check that you've got the right cable for your camera as well. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so we're, we're now in Capture One. Now, Capture One's are very simple on how to tether. As soon as we plug in to our uh, camera, you will see this little icon just on the top left, the picture of the camera. We tap onto that and our camera settings come straight up here on the left hand side. So having a brief overlook, we've uh, got our shutter speed, we've got our temperature and this here is the button to take a picture um, using the wireless camera feature. So let's get a picture taken, bring it into Capture One so we can have a closer look of what it looks like and the details it can show. So here we are in Capture One. You can see the image has come in. That's on the, the right hand side. And if we pinch and zoom, we can then see the details of the shot. And that's looking pretty sharp. I mean, we can see the petals there, um, nice and crisp. So we've got a good shot there. Again, we couldn't really see this on the back of the screen with the camera, but using Tether tools, tethering into your laptop and using these functions we can see everything going. So there you have it, that's the advantages of tethering. It means we can get an image from our camera straight to our capture software, instantly review it, make the changes from the computer to the camera or from the camera to the computer and have a live view all the time of the images flowing in. So head over to the Tether Tools website. They do have a, a guide there, the ultimate guide to tethering. It'll certainly help you out on how to get everything set up and make sure you check the compatibility of your camera to which tethering lead that you're gonna use. So that's it, thanks for watching. Do make sure you watch the other video on uh, tethering to Lightroom as well. I hope that's helped you out and check back soon.